All right, so now that we know that it works, let's go ahead and dive into some Bootstrap. The first thing we're going to talk about is scaffolding. So let's go back to our index.html and let's save it as fixed.html because the first thing we're going to do is a fixed width layout. So before we get started, let me just add this to folder. There we go. All right. So as I said before, the first thing we're going to do is scaffolding and it's going to be a fixed. Uh, scaffolding in Bootstrap is really cool. It makes building responsive websites super easy. Um, it utilizes a 12 column grid system and that's always important when building for a front end web. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Now to declare this as a fixed layout, we need to give our outermost div a class of container. And this is important because it's going to be what holds all of our elements in place. And the next one we're going to need is a, a div with the class of row. Now what the row is, as you can guess, is basically just a section of the container. And a row contains more elements. And we're going to give one class of 12. Now, as I said before, uh, Bootstrap has a 12 column grid system. And the way that uh, you fill up these columns is by utilizing the span class uh, following with a number following. Uh, if you have span 12 on this div, like we do, your uh, div will stretch 12 columns across this container class and it will only stay within this row. Um, also, I mean, if you have one, you can see it'll take up one column and so on. Um, let's preview this in the browser. But before we do that, let's add a little bit of style to it to make it a little easier to understand. Um, let's give it a um, background of black color. Uh, white, add a little bit of padding, let's we'll say 20 pixels, and we'll leave the left and right at zero because we're going to align the text to the center. So, and that looks good. So, let's go ahead and save it, and we're going to open it up in our browser. We're going to type fix.html and there you go you can see our div with the span of span 12 class and it's stretching 12 columns across the container um, let's go ahead and add a few more just to further demonstrate this I'm going to copy and paste this right here and let's make this one a 6 Okay, and We'll add some style, we'll copy and paste this one as well. And let's see. Why don't we make it, we'll just make it blue. And we'll give it a margin top to create some space of uh, 15 pixels. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and preview that. Hit refresh. And there you go. Now you have two elements that take up 12 columns. However, each element uh, only takes up six. And you can see it's nicely formatted. Let's go ahead and add some more. And we'll do this one more time just to really drill it in and we will add copy this and we'll make this um, we'll make this a span class of three and you know, we'll give it its style we'll copy the same one from span six 
change that to three. We'll give it a background of, now let's get crazy. We'll put some purple in there. And, oh, wrong one. We'll put purple right there. And yep, that should be good. So let's go back to our browser and check it out. Refresh. And there you go. So uh, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. Each time you add a span class, you have to make sure that it equals up to 12. Otherwise, it's not going to fit right. Uh, 